Today we are taking a look at some of the latest Blender add-ons and updates. These add-ons range from tools for modeling, lighting, asset creation, and much more. We're gonna start with Gravity Shell, which is a really interesting add-on. It allows you to design force-driven forms similar to the modern wavy architecture, so it allows you to easily model complex geometric surfaces for Blender. For example, while using the add-on, you can quickly adjust the tensile structures, which allows you to change the tension and the shape while still respecting the structural integrity. And the volts value, control the steepness of the shape in addition to other parameters to create exactly the shape you want. The add-on allows you to add all that without any need for understanding of math, coding, or any knowledge about architecture for that matter. If you have too many add-ons installed and you can't keep up with all of them, or you have a crowded M panel from all the add-ons you have, Clean Panels can help you categorize and organize your add-ons in different categories and groups for easy access. We actually talked about this add-on before, and you are probably familiar with it. It offers multiple ways to access your add-on pipe panels, dashboard drop-down panels, or workspace add-on categories. With the latest update, Clean Panel 3, the focus panel, allows you to access your add-ons in a really quick way. We also have Height Steps, which is a small yet handy add-on that does one thing, and it does it very well that you will find yourself using it. Height Steps is a Blender add-on that lets you store hidden objects in addition to mesh parts as steps, but unlike the Blender default height and unhide function, High Steps keeps track of the order you hit your objects so you don't accidentally unhide everything you had hidden in the past, and it works in the edit mode as well. Next we have a productivity tool called Ring Array. It allows you to easily and rapidly create circular arrays from any source, object, light, camera, and so on. Usually in Blender, to get a circular array, you will probably have to use a combination of array and curve modifier. The process isn't intuitive and you have to fiddle around the parameters to get the result you want. This tool helps you speed up your workflow and streamline the process of creating ring arrays. From the add-on window, you can control the radius, count, offset, and resize your objects. And you can pick which axis you want to use or rotate, and you can even merge objects. Now, talking about lighting, Lighter is a handy add-on that helps you set up lighting for your scene or model in only a few clicks. And this add-on is created by the developer of the add-on called Bone Dynamic Pro. Lighter offers a really easy way to showcase your work and set up professional lighting in no time. With a great level of control over the lighting system and lighting settings such as colors, intensity, and so on. The way you use this add-on is by selecting the object you want to light in your scene. And to use it is very simple. In the add-on panel, hit the light up button, and that's it. You can further adjust the parameters using the provided controls. The add-on does exactly what it says on the box, and it does it very effectively, so if you need to showcase your models a lot in Blender, this is probably gonna be helpful to you. Next, we have an add-on called Energy Effects Add-on which is actually developed by GTEC Design, formerly known as Razy Clutch, the developers behind Quake Animation Tool, Shockwave, and Quake Particles. This add-on provides a list of sci-fi and particle elements and comes with 13 highly customizable energy presets, and the developer is promising to expand the library even more in the future. The library contains saber effects, glowing lines, electric effects, and much more. Through the add-on panel, you can adjust the color, glow, noise, value, scale, roughness, and much more. Next, we have an add-on that is called Floating Island Generator. It is an add-on for Blender that allows you to create a mesh with a base form, which you can adjust through procedural workflow like noise type, noise settings, heights, subheights, the former objects, and many other parameters. Some of its main features are the ability to create a different base mesh, selecting and reselecting the floating island mesh using a mixture of different texture and noise layers, the ability to add effect variations, different height values, and it is non-destructive, so you can change the texture afterward and adjust the texture influence in addition to other things. 
Now, jumping to a different topic, in Blender, to import a specific file type, you have to always choose the targeted format at the beginning. However, the new Blender Open Import add-on fixes the issue by allowing you to bypass the file type selection phase and jump directly to the import window. The add-on will handle the process of assigning file types in the background. This not only saves you time, but also saves you a lot of headaches looking for the file type every time. At the time of creating this video, the add-on supports 22 file types. All the major file types you will need, such as FBX, OBJ, Blend, DAE, SVJ, PNG, you name it. To use the add-on, just select import anything from the import menu. If you are a 3D artist, which I believe you are, you probably have used Polyhaven one way or another. It is a huge library of public assets for visual effects artists and game designers providing not only free assets, but they are under the CC0 license too. Which means all assets are copyright free and you can use them for any purpose even commercially. Polyhaven Asset Browser add-on gives you access to a 1000 plus huge library directly from inside Blender, taking advantage of Blender new library browser. Polyhaven is always expanding with new asset textures in addition to models added every update. Now we have Basic Tool, which is a free add-on that is considered a library of tools that will enhance and speed up your workflow inside Blender. It offers a plethora of tools and features to make your life easier when working on the software. The add-on has many functionalities such as Global Undo, which keeps backups of your projects, easy access operation panel where you can find simple operations such as smooth, smooth with edge split, remove doubles, subdivision and so on. In addition to that, you have 3D view operation panel, materials, image panel, easy sculpt interface and useful UV tools. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.